Hi everybody, Susie Q here, Q Aquatics. Today I'm building a shrimp tank that I got all the parts that I needed from Aquatic Experience. And I stole an idea from One Fish, Two Fish, and she had a DIY project to make a shrimp nest. Come on and join me. Welcome to Q Aquatics, and today I'm gonna to be looking at my shrimp tank. I haven't had a whole lot of luck with shrimp. I've tried three different times so far in the last two years. <laughs> when I was at the Aquatic Experience, I had a chance to chat with Amanda, Rob's wife. Who, if you don't know Amanda, she is one of the most sweetest, down-to-earth, good people in the world. Like, thank God for the Amandas in the world. That's all I got to say. And I met her parents, and I can see why. I mean, she's just, they're, they're amazing people. But she sat down with me, and she gave me a lot of good tips, a lot of encouragement, and I'm trying again. So, here we go. I got a dozen shrimp at Aquatic Experience. Neo Caradina shrimp. So I've got Flip Aquatic shrimp. I got Lucas Brett's shrimp. These beautiful blue. He even gave me a purple one. Woo! <laughs> Talk about another great down to earth guy, LR Brett's. So I got Flip Aquatic shrimp. I got LR Brett's shrimp. I got the tank that Kang Lee was selling at the Aquatic Experience when he was done with his guppies, they were selling these cute little tanks. And it came with the substrate, it came with the filter, and I drip acclimated the shrimp. So they're in this tank. Check this out. I love this tank. Look how cute it is, it's just so tiny. And of course, if you, I don't know if you can see in the background, that's me tiny. <laughs> I had a 3D uh, doll made of me. I also uh, make miniature, replic I replicate miniature settings, so I thought that would be cute to get a little mini fish tuber, Susie Q. <laughs> okay, so check this out. So they've been sitting in here. They've been in here. I could see, look at this one. She's buried up. Uh, there might be another one buried up, but I couldn't focus the camera on her. So I'm hoping this works. I'm, I'm going to really try to see if I can get a colony going. I do have a lot of plants in here that aren't staying because they're in pots and stuff. But what I wanted to do was create a little shrimp nest. So today I'm gonna to go over creating a shrimp nest. So I accredit the shrimp nest, One Fish, Two Fish, ROC. If you don't know who she is, check her out. She did a how-to video, click in the link. If you wanna see how she did it, um, I didn't have all the materials that she had. So I'm gonna make it my own. I'm gonna use the materials what I have to, with her concept and her ideas and make a shrimp nest. Uh, I First I got this, uh, this piece of, it looks like an acorn top, but it releases great tannins in the water. So I've been boiling it, thinking it was gonna sink. And I thought this is gonna be perfect for the shrimp nest. So I boiled it, released a lot of the tannins, it's still not. So now it's sitting in my turtle tank, floating around, see if I can get it to sink. So if that doesn't sink, I've got a coconut hut. I'm gonna take it out of my endler tank. So I'm gonna do this in my room, cause it's cold out here. Yeah, I'm outside filming and I lock myself out. I lock myself out. Hopefully John will wake up. And it's still floating. So I don't know if you could see that. Let me flip the camera around. And I had it soaking, it's still not sinking. So this one I cut to fit this. If it ever works, that would be great. Otherwise it's floating. And I wanted to create this moss nest. So I pulled this out of my, uh, one of my tanks over there, and washed it off, and I'm gonna use this. I don't have magnets. So what I thought, I would put some maybe substrate down here just to weigh it down a little more. But since I'm using a different one, I have to cut a new, cut it to size. Okay. So my intentions are put substrate down here, put lots and lots of slits in here for the moss, super glue this in. So I'm just using one fish, two fish's idea and her DIY, she's got the best DIYs, let me tell you, because she uses things from around the house. You don't have to go out and buy stuff. If you have this, try this. So I'm taking her DIY, but adapting it to what I have. So I might have a different moss, different glue, different sponge, but it's the same concept. I'm gonna grow a moss nest for my shrimp. So what I'm gonna do is cut it down the middle, 
so I can make slits on the inside and outside. I'll cut it in like a peace sign, because you know what? We, everybody needs more peace in the world, right? So I got a peace sign, and now I'm going to make little slats and all that, little slats and all this. Put the moss in between it and glue it as I go. She super glued it and let it dry before she started putting the moss in, so I'm going to put my substrate in. And again, I'm putting substrate in here, and I don't have a magnet. Dirt it substrate. So now, I'm just going to put little dabs of super glue here and there. They don't need a whole lot. So, oh, look how nice. I got this at the Aquatic Experience, and it's been sitting in the shrimp tank. Now I'm going to start putting it in each crack. And if you're wondering what my bandana is for, Team Green Alliance. It's fish tubers, create fish tube creators, YouTube creators. Small channel creators supporting each other. It's not a whole lot to look at right now, but wait till it starts growing in, and I'll do an update on this. So, this is what it looks like so far, and just like she says in her video, it's not not a whole lot to look at right now. Oh, go stemming. Got this from the aquatic experience. Oh, it's going to be beautiful because what doesn't go in here, I'm going to put in a, a substrate of the tank. Oh, yeah, I think this will work. Put this one in here. This one in here. Now, unfortunately, this substrate is really good substrate, really good soil, but it's got some blue. Um, aquarium rocks, that's all right. So let's go set this into my tank. I put some substrate in this little container and I'm going to put it behind the coconut hut to see if I can make it stand up. But instead of having that empty, I'm going to put cryptocurrine parva in here and see how that does. checking out my shrimp and encourage me to keep on going and thanks again to one fish two fish roc for the idea to make a moss nest for my shrimp see you guys next time team green alliance